All right. <clears throat> Dear Billy, no liquor. I know. I'm coming up on two years, everybody. November 24th. Two years. Um, I don't even think about it anymore. Although the other night I, wa- I watched somebody. Oh, I watched this fucking unbelievable movie that my wife loved and I had never seen before. It was Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon were in this movie and it was about a teacher that gets fixated on this student and he's trying to stop her from achieving. It's, um, I absolutely loved it. But anyways, one of the, one of the actors in there playing a dad was sitting there and he had a scotch or a bourbon and he had it in a highball glass and oh, it, it was that time of night when I used to drink them. And I was literally, uh, I was laying on the couch with my wife and my head like like popped up. It's like, oh, oh, I'd love one of those. But other than that, I don't really think about it. But every once in a while, you know, I started thinking about that dad, that character being like, I wonder if he can just have one. Just has that one. He sips on it, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, thank God I got kids. That's what I always think of. Anytime I get tempted, I go, do I really want to do this? No, I don't. All right. Um, Egyptian architect. Uh, Dear Billy, no liquor. I'm a 30-year-old Egyptian architect working and living in the great city of Tokyo. Um, Another place I'd love to go. I heard on your previous episodes that there is at least two other architects listening to your podcast. And I got to say, your podcast helps us push through hard tasks and tight deadlines. Um. That is unbelievable. Why my podcast? Is it because it's so fucking stupid? Um, <laughs> gives your brain a break. Also, all of my coworkers at my company are Japanese. Parentheses. Well, no shit. Yeah, because you're in Japan. Except for two Polish guys who started working about a year ago. I introduced your podcast to them after they complained about how stressful it is working in an environment where everything isn't in your native language and that they feel drained at the end of the day. Needless to say, after I recommended your podcast, we would laugh our asses off at the jokes you make on the podcast, and it seems like it's helping them throughout the day. Look at these guys. Polish, so they probably they speak Polish, right? They go to Japan, they learn Japanese, and then they can speak English. Incredible people out there. It seems like it's helping them throughout the day. I myself had moments where I would cover my face so no one could see me laughing, and the first time you did the club, uh, the club W. Bush ad read i had to go under my desk as i'm f- and act like i was fixing something with my pc just so i could laugh my ass off wow that was a long time ago thank you for the great podcast and god bless you and your family all right thank you thank you guys for listening 